Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is going to be two looks with the beautiful Nomad Cosmetics Iceland Fire and Ice Palette. This such a beautiful colour story. Look at that colour story. Look at the detail. Obviously mine's been dipped into. Yeah, I do have a first impressions of this palette up on my channel already. So if you want to go and watch that first, I will link that in the cards up here. So yeah, I thought I'd do two more looks so that I could get a more rounded feel for the palette, which you will see. If you want to know what my thoughts are and you want to see both looks, then just keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyes using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Primer. Second time using it and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, so today I want to dive in with more of the blue tones and do something just a, a bit more Steph calming. I don't know. Just That's what I'm feeling today. And the first colour I'm going to go in with is Nude. This beautiful matte here. I'm just taking a Spectrum B07 to dip into Nord. So Nord, I'm just going to be... I love how pigmented these are. Just taking it through my crease. Oh, look at that. It's one of the most beautiful blue colours I've ever seen. Wow, it's effortless to blend out. Look how easily that is blending out. This colour really sings to my soul. So I'm just building it up in the crease and then blending up and out. I'm completely running on empty today. I had no sleep during the night at all. I did manage to get about an hour, hour and a half this morning, but my body is just not letting me do anything at the moment. So that is where colour therapy comes in. Wow, look at that. Right, so just taking a Spectrum A12, I'm going to dip into Niflheim, the deep blue matte, and I'm going to be placing that in right in my outer V and into the crease, the lower part. See, I was thinking about um, possibly doing uh, once a week, once a month, once every two weeks, like a makeup for anxiety or makeup to calm something like that I just thought it might be a really nice just sit down chatty get ready with me play with some color just to help like if anyone's feeling low if so we just just can all sit together and play with color but let me know what you guys think um, I was thinking also that if I did it at a weekend that maybe I could do it as a, a premiere so that we could all then sit down and chat uh, in the comments as it's live but obviously I'll only uh, do that if that's wanted but I know that I personally have been just really really struggling times are a difficult so now I do have like quite severe anxiety issues anyway but obviously have been much heightened by recent events etc. I'm living for this colour. And just going back in with the first colour Nord just to bring that back over the edges I do not want to lose that it's one of the most beautiful colours 
ever. So, so pretty. So yeah, if, uh, if that's something you guys would like, kind of a, just call it like an, an informal get together. We all sit with our you know, tea, coffee, wine, whatever you drink, and uh, have a chat through it. Just give everyone a chance to reach out to each other, help each other out. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I like how that is looking so far. I'm going to nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to continue the eye look with you. Glitter Primer on. So I'm just taking this Jessup 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush and I'm going to be dipping into God's Waterfall, this beautiful blue shimmer here. And that is going to be going right on the outer edge here of my lid so beautiful again taking it at an angle just purely because that suits my eye shape the best i think and then with the other side of the same brush i'm going to be going in with elves one next to it and elves is going to be going over the almost the rest of it i'm just tapping them together just switch sides oh i'm so sad that i'm ruining these imprints they're so pretty oh look at that and tap between the two colors beautiful and then using this little morphe flat brush i am going to be dipping into valkyries i'm so sorry i'm ruining you and valkyries i am going to be placing right just on that inner part that is left open this is just the best palette like for everything it's an all-in the color story is perfect the all of the tones of the colors that they're, they're so unique it's just absolutely perfect and then just using the other side of that just to dip back in to elves a little bit and just to help them mesh together. Just go over that line. Oh, look at that. Oh, how absolutely stunning is that? Just taking a little crown smudger brush. I am going to dip into Niflheim. The deep blue mats there. Just taking a little bit and bringing that onto the lower lash line there. Mm, actually looking at it, I think we could do with a little bit more depth in the outer. So what I'm going to do is dip between Niflheim and Dark Castles. So just kind of a dab between the two and then dragging that under the eye oh wow that blue and the the black in the for home and dark castle was really really bring something just a little bit more dark castles in there oh look at that depth and just going in with the original brush into Nord and 
I'm just using a tiny bit just to smoke out the edges there. I cannot get over how beautiful this colour story is. The shadows just perform perfectly. No effort required. They essentially just blend themselves. And finally, for the inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with River Glacier. Just using this uh, Jessup 237 Detail Shader. So just, oh wow. This colour story just feels like it was made for me. It's so beautiful. I love this, like a real silvery blue. Look at that. And just taking a tiny bit to just tuck up there under my eyebrow. Oh, look at that. So I'm happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will be back to show you the finished look number one. So here we have finished look number one. What do you think? I really like it. I'm, I'm just blown away by this palette. Absolutely blown away. So I'm just going to let you know what else I've popped on my face. So the black liquid eyeliner is the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. In my waterline I have the Catrice 18 hour colour and contour eye pencil in Bride Lavender. I really like that. I thought that the, uh, the lavender colour would really just make the eye look pop. Yeah, the mascara is the berry and that's how I roll as usual. The lashes are from Altitude Cosmetics, they're in the style doll. The bronzer I went in with is from Nabla, it's their skin bronzing in the shade June. The blusher is Contrary Mary from Pouts and Shouts. It's beautiful orange blush. The highlighter is also from Pelt and Shout and it is the Happy Glow Lucky highlighter. The shade is Lucky Black Cats. A really icy, icy one. And finally the lipstick I've popped on is from Lime Crime. It's their matte velveteens in the shade Cashmere, which is one of my favourites. So yes, this is finished look number one. And I will hand you on over to look number two. Okay, so second look, I am first going to dip into Odin, this grey up here. So Odin's just going to be going in the crease and blending above. If I seem a bit off today, I'm really sorry. I They've lowered my medication and the pain has come back a lot <laughs> so yeah i'm sorry if that does affect this uh video but as expected this is blending out beautifully i cannot tell you how much i love this palette it is just absolutely gorgeous I'm so impressed with how these shadows perform it is unreal the brush I was using is uh, just a fluffy one from crown And then going in with this Jessup 231 Lux Petite Crease, I'm going to be dipping into Dark Castles. So for my first look I went for more of the blues, 
so let me just place this in the out of the and gently drag that into the crease there This black is so easy to work with, it's just unreal. So easy. Okay, and then going back into Odin, I'm just taking a tiny bit on the brush there, and then just going in to blend out those edges. It's just so easy to work with. So I'm just going to nip off quickly and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll be back to continue. Glitter Primer on and I'm going to be dipping into Gallows Lava. This beautiful greeny shimmer there. Just using a flat brush from Miali Beauty. And oh wow. Look at that. This colour is absolutely stunning. So I'm just pressing it on um, because I don't want any fallout. Oh my word, look at that. And then going in with a little flat brush from Morphe, the M -M Mitchell collection, I am going to be going into this beautiful green here, Northern Lights. So, and Northern Lights is going to be going where we have left open. such a beautiful colour. Again, green. I know I'm predictable, but oh well. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And then just going back in with the brush that we had Gallows Lava on. Just bring that Tap over Northern Lights there. Ooh, I am loving this. So just taking a little smudging brush from Crown. I am going to dip into Dark Castles and just bring that right against the Lash, lower lash line so that it's uh, connected up there so for the lower lash line I just want to bring in a bit of frig this beautiful car up here I'm just using a Spectrum A12 brush so just taking a little bit I'm just going to be bringing that under the eye to smoke out dark castles. And actually, I am going to go in with a bit more of dark castles and just bring that in here just to deepen that out of either. I think for the inner corner I'm going to go in with Valkyries because I think that's going to be a really interesting one. Let's have a see. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just going to drag that a little way under there and up there. And then just a quick dip in River Glacier. 
this one here and just to brighten it that little bit just dabbing that over top oh yes and then just taking a little bit of river glacier and just tucking that up under the brow there yeah i'm really loving the look of that so i'm going to nip off and finish my face and then i'll come back to show you the finished look number two and we'll have a chat so don't go anywhere okay so here is finished look number two let me know what you think in the comment section below do you prefer look one or look two so I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face before we continue chatting. So the blusher I have on is Sensitive Sally from Pout and Shout. Beautiful orange blush. The highlighter is from Kaleidos. It is their Space Age Highlighter Skywalker. In my waterline, I have the Catrice 18 hour colour and contour eye pencil in Bride Lavender. The mascara is the Barium, that's how I roll. The black eyeliner is the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude 2 in 1 liner and lash adhesive. Absolutely love that, as I'm always saying. And the lashes are from Altitude Cosmetics and they are in the Style Queen. The lipstick is the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in Moonstone. So, this is now my third look with this absolutely gorgeous palette. I am so happy to recommend this. I would recommend this. If you love this colour story, you are going to love this palette. It is just it's so perfect. The, they all blend so well. That black is amazing. It just it blends itself. It's the easiest black to work with. I think I have now tried all of the colours almost. I think Alfheim might be the only one I haven't tried yet. I'm not sure. But anyways, I absolutely love it. This is my current favourite palette just as an all-rounder performance color story the detail i just i can't praise nomad enough and i'm so sad that i waited this long to try them so yeah that is about it from me for today i hope you've enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section below do you like this style with the two looks or do you prefer just the one let me know what you think so if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then I hope you will consider sticking around. I do a lot of colourful looks, I mainly support indie brands, so that is mostly what you'll see on my channel. If that sounds like something that you would enjoy, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.